Today's video is going to be an attempt to disassemble the Amazon dash button. Now this little dash button is a device which Amazon sells for £5 on the website, or $5 in the US, <coughs> Excuse me, which is in the world, one of the world's smallest IoT, IoT devices, Internet of Things devices. What this guy is, is a little lozenge shaped plastic um, device with a hanger which detaches off it from it and what it is is a way for Amazon to enable their customers to have a one-click ordering system for their products. Um, now these are hotly debated in environmental pollution circles because they are disposable. Uh, each device, this is, re this is revision 2 from 2016 I think. Each device contains and is powered by one AAA alkaline battery. Once that runs out that's the end of the life of the device. You're supposed to throw it away and buy another one. Now what Amazon want you to do is they want you to press the button. Um, let me start from the beginning. You get the button from Amazon, you pay £5 for it, four ninety nine. You then it comes with a little holder so you can hang it up or you can stick it on with this sort of gel glue, reusable gel glue stuff. This is a bit like the stuff you use used to have on the old toys, those rubbery toys you throw at the wall, they'd stick to the wall, that sort of gel glue. Anyway, you buy this device, you pair it to your account, and you then um, select one of three or four pre-assigned products which Amazon really, really limit you, limit you to to assign to the particular device. Let me give you a better, better example. I've bought the Aerial one here. So when I pair this, when I pair this with the app on my phone, it will then say, pick one of these three or four Aerial products you'd like to trigger the purchase of when you press this button. And they're hugely overpriced. For example, some Aerial dishwasher tablets I saw for about 120, I think, or 130 tablets was like 19.99. You've got to be kidding me. This thing was 4.99. Anyway, apart from the economics and the environmental aspect of it, I'd like to show you inside, if I can get into it with my iSesimo tool without breaking it. A couple of other people on the internet have tried to get into it and broken it um, in the past, a couple of years ago, I think. Um, but I'm going to do this on camera. If it breaks, it breaks. I've got five more. I've got some spares, so it's not the end of the world. This device has got onboard Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it's got a little, little microphone, which is just there. This microphone is for pairing with the iOS app, which sends out ultrasound um, coded signals, which is basically what it does. It sends out the Wi-Fi password and the Wi-Fi SSID of the device you're, of the network you're connecting the device to. The iOS app either does it, either configures the. Uh, let me start again. The iOS device, um, the app on the iOS app, Amazon app, either. Set configures the dash button via Bluetooth, or if Bluetooth is not available, you tell it to use audio, and you, you hold this near the speaker of the iPhone or the iPod, and it sends out an ultrasound signal which contains coded information to set this up. Anyway, it's all a bit, all a bit weird, it's all a bit Orwellian. I've got my um, pry tools here, a couple of those, another pry tool there pick type thing. Got my trusty Leatherman knife and a sculpted plastic card which I've shaved the corners off which I get I use to get to pry into things with this corner here and this edge here. We'll try and get into it anyway, that's enough enough of talking. We'll try and get into this thing without breaking it. Now my most my most what what my mind sticks out as the most obvious point of entry is this this recessed de um, indentation here, there's two of these, one either side, and this is the indentation which matches the, you see this sort of plastic rib, ridge here, on the inside of this holder. You slide that inside there, and it clicks in, it's like that. So what I would think would be the best place to start would be to use the softest tool first, which would be the pry tool, and press 
along the along this line here, which I'm going to try and do now. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it breaks because I've got five more of these, and it's all in the name of science, isn't it? Don't think plastic's going to be enough to get in. So maybe I'll try the iSesimo tool. This is very ubiquitous, flexible, flexible steel sculpted tool. Well, not sculpted, shaped tool. It's got different angles on it. You can get these from eBay for about three quid. And I'll try and get into it with that. Hopefully. Apparently these are ultrasonically welded shut. We shall see, eh? We shall see. Well, that's barely made a mark on it. Let's press it a bit deeper. Oh, that's uh, a bit cracked then. Well, not cracked, but split. There we go. Something gave in then. One of the welds sort of cracked a bit. If this is boring, I can always speed this video up, I suppose, for you. Make it go, make time go a bit faster. I don't know how impatient you YouTube viewers are, but uh, this takes as long as it takes. This is my first time ever trying this. Right, as you can see, there's a very fine seam, there's a very fine join here with the two halves join. And Amazon, in their infinite, infinite wisdom, made this thing disposable, so you have to split it apart. So instead of just being able to replace the battery, they'd rather milk you oh, get another five pounds of your money. Now, their, their justification for this is oh, when you place your first order, you get a five pound rebate from your extortionately overpriced dash button configured choice of products. Oh, wow, thanks, Amazon. Cheers, five pounds off. A 20 or 25 pound box of dishwasher tablets. Yeah, and you can go down to Home Bargains and buy the same pack for about 12 pounds, I suppose. Anyway, this is not a rant video, this is a tear down. Try not to cut my hand off with a tool as well. That's always a disadvantage when you've got a fingers missing. <laughs> this tool is very tough, but when you're pushing into. Anyway, I'll stop talking now so much and try and get this open. Ah. Try not to injure myself. Leave her upwards a bit. Doesn't matter what it looks doesn't matter what it looks like when I finish opening it because the, the case will be discarded. I can assure you of that. I'll throw the casing away. So excuse the funny jerks and angles on the camera guys. I'm trying to do this in the kitchen. At night time, with people asleep, on a camera phone. So, you just take what you get. Oh, there we go. We're open now. Did you see that? As I leave it there, there's a gap. Now, if I stop using the heavy mob approach and revert to a pry tool, a nylon pry tool. I think they're nylon. Once I've got the, once I've got some leverage in that gap, once I've got some got some headway in, into the seam, I can pry it. There we go. Everything's creaking so I'm pressing so hard. Right. Let's try the other side. Maybe if I lay it flat, that'd be better. Oh, it's going off, look. Contacting home! Home base! Contacting the Death Star. It's going to trigger the explosion of the Death Star, no doubt. Wouldn't it be a pity if Amazon blew up? Yeah, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? Terrible for online retail. Not so terrible for the world at large. Cat's meowing outside the door, wants to feed. She can have to wait. Right, we need to go back in with the big guns because the plastic tool isn't going to cut it. Literally. Let's try and leave this open again. Yeah. See that? See that in the light? Yeah, I need to go down there with this. A bit more the other side. And the cat's meowing. I'm going to let the cat in. She won't stop till she gets let in. Two seconds, not just two secs. Just come back in for food. I want you to have that. 
a second feed if you want to go back out again. And we have again, so. Right. Onward and upward. Literally. Upward. Ah. These old things are well and truly tightly sealed shut. They don't want you to get inside this at all, do they? All for the price of five pounds. They do not want you to change that battery. They want you to spend another five pounds. Pretty dumb. When you think about the the, the, the sense of this, it's, there is no sense. It's pretty dumb, isn't it? Selling a, a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you know, high-tech IoT device for five pounds with a sealed-in battery is just stupid. I mean, they want you to stick it to the wall. Every time you run out of loo roll, just press the button and it hammers and magically comes to the door the next day and deliver your new loo roll. Well, why wouldn't you go to Sainsbury's? <laughs> That's my question. And secondly. What a waste. I mean, these, the, the, if you try and return these things to Amazon, I asked them on their support chat, what do you do when, once this runs out of the battery? And they said, just throw it away and you buy a new one. Well, that's dumb. That's really stupid. Anyway, whatever. We'll get the plastic credit card. Well, <laughs> all credit cards are plastic, but the special card of mine. I'll try it with that to get it open. No, I was going to cut my hand before I try and do that much more. Right, let's try slicing it downwards. A shallow angle like this. That side, maybe. Down, 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 down. Let's try a bit of leverage. A bit of leverage. Oh, don't want to cut. No. See, if this blade is in too far, it's going to foul the board, mess something up. So I don't want to do that. I want it to work still. Let's open. Oh, cuts me away again. Sorry about this. Back in a second. Just let you out the door. Right, that's the cat belt. We're outside now. In the rain. Her choice. Oh, where are we? Keep on slicing, baby! You see that? That was me twisting the ISSMO tool as I got down the seam. This is a fine balance between not cutting your fingers and not damaging the internals too much. Or at all, hopefully. Um, let me try this trick. Push down on there. Okay, and pull the top up. Nope. It's like, no way, Jose, you're not getting in me. You're not getting inside. Ah, uh, the light's going off again. It's trying to contact the Death Star yet again. <laughs> it won't do because it's not even paired up. Um, Where's my guitar pick type thing with you? There, yeah. These aren't very ergonomic because they just skid all over the place. These things, but it's worth a press, I suppose. It's a problem when you for the first time you try to open something. It's a learning process. Once you've done it once, you've got the gist of where you're going. Um, now I think more bit more twistings in order. Here. If in doubt, force it out. Right. You will open, you stupid thing. See, what my plan would be with this, to, to power it once the battery runs out, would be to get a Zener diode, or 1.5 or 1.6 volt. So we're in, look. 1.5 or 1.6 volt Zener diode. And take the battery out. And make a, a little dropper circuit. We're in. How's that, then? We have contact and... Not a single part of the board has been damaged. Now then, next question. Have I brought my screwdriver down with me? Of course I haven't. <laughs> the one thing I need, which I forgot about, is a, is a screwdriver. I'll go and get that. I'll be back in a tick. On back jet. Now, at, ru at risk of ruining the white balance and the exposure, which I don't really care about because it's not a cinematic masterpiece, it's just a teardown. 
I'm going to put the flash on my on my camera, the LED light actually, and continue the disassembly using my trusty Rolson Torx screwdriver, of which from which I need to obtain a suitably sized bit, which seems to be the first try. I've got, the first, got it on the first try. How's that for experience? That is a T... a Torx T5 bit. In fact, maybe this light's too bright, actually. I'll turn this off. Too bright. Well, that's new. That, no, it's too dim. Can't please some people. Let's try again. Let's change the exposure a bit. That's better. That's too flickery. That's about right. Lock it there, Jim. Right. Enough waffle. Time for some syrup. Right, let's get that in there. So, yeah. Once you're inside, this is version 2, there are three T5 screws. One at the positive end of the AAA battery and one either side at the other end. So, unscrew that is. You see? Can you see that okay? I hope so. There's enough light here. It's not an ideal studio situation, but it's okay. It'll do considering I'm a bloke living at home, working from his kitchen, without a fresh professional camera. Hey, you got 60 frames a second, what else do you want? <laughs> so, final screw is coming out. And let's see what's in this little puppy here. Okay. That one's out. So, remove the battery. It's a Duracell. Some sort of Chineseium Duracell. I don't know if that's a genuine genuine Duracell. I suppose it must be, because it's it's made for Amazon, this product. So, I can't imagine they use counterfeit batteries, or would they? Gosh, look at the white balance. It's all over the place. So that's now the battery holder. Shroud, casing, recess, whatever you want to call it. That's that out. And now we see the board. And you see there it says Rev02. So this is the latest version. Now there should be a way of prying back this seam of residual plastic to allow the board to come free. Perhaps I'm overthinking this, perhaps I should just try prying it off. Yeah, we'll try that. No, it's going to break, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I think we'll try this method, which is to basically get a soft plastic tool and push the plastic that we displaced inwards when we try to get into it back out, because it's because the plastic is folded in on itself over the edge of the PCB, stopping it being released upwards. So... I'll try folding that down out the way. Sorry about the noise. Mind you, you won't hear the noise because I gain control on the camera. Right. There's a bit more up there. Which needs to move. Try that back. The interesting thing about these products, these little dash buttons, is when you open the packet, when you open this little box here, the damn Amazon dash. When you smell it, it smells like Apple products. I bought my first Mac in 2006 or seven, a white polycarbonate Mac MacBook. And nothing, if you're an Apple, if you've had lots of Apple products, which I have had loads, you'll know that nothing smells quite like the smell of Apple products when you open them, except for the dash button. It smells like Apple. Anyway, have I broken anything there? Let's check with my magnifying lens. Which I have here at the hand to hand. Have I broken the components off? I hope not. That'd be stupid, wouldn't it? Just checking. Hmm. I'll flip it out, not mate. Because I'd have broke it already. That would be dark. Uh, maybe I have. <laughs> maybe I've broken some parts off the board. Or maybe not. 
don't know, don't care. Don't care. This is a sacrificial board. It cost me the grand price of almost nothing. Oh, I should just push through there, shouldn't I? That's stupid. Just put, so what you do, you just push through the button, you will release the back of the board from its captive position. Hopefully, he says, optimistically, with not a clue. Let's try and do here. That's right. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. That's got that out. We hope. Can't see because your fat fingers are in the way. Right. Your fat digits were blocking your view. Is this going to come out without any much more messing around or not? Flip it, Nora. They don't want to get into this thing, do they? Let's try again. Actually, the board's not that thin. I thought the board was, thick, was thinner than that, but it's actually quite thick. Huh. Bit like the people that designed it, eh? Not to be recycled. Yeah, anyway, whatever. Yeah. I'll go all political on you on a, on a technology video. Oh, there we go. There's the goodies. What is that thing? Oh, that's part of the plastic, okay. I wonder what that was then. It's some sort of... Oh, it's a washer. Oh, yeah, that little thing there. That little black donut on my finger. That is a a rubber seal. By the looks of it. Yeah, for the microphone. See there, there's a microphone recess in the plastic. That's a little rubber seal. It seals the... That acoustically couples the microphone. Which is... Let me show you. See that tile? Let me zoom in a bit actually. Forget all the focus and white balance, that's all gone to shot anyway. Little hole here. When the camera actually deserves to wake up to its job in life. Focus. Anyway, there's a little hole there in the circuit board. On the flip side, there's an ultrasonic microphone here. Well, I think it's ultrasonic. The app sends out ultrasonic signals. That little gasket there, this little thing here, is to seal, to create an acoustic path between the hole and the front where the mesh is, the audio, the microphone filter mesh, when a camera actually does its job, which is not very often. All right, let's zoom out again. That's what likes it from that distance. And that's flickering. Never mind. That's, that's the audio... That's the microphone. Ah, camera, honestly. Who designed these cameras? <laughs> bad, bad workman blames his tools, eh? This mesh here is to stop dust getting into the microphone. That's to stop dust getting in. Anyway, that's a little gasket, and that seals the microphone. Anyway, there's the button. The other side of which has got a rubbery silicon membrane. And somewhere in this jolly little lot is a tactile switch, which is just there. Can you hear that? I can hear that from a distance, you should be able to hear it. Anyway, let's have a look into the magnifier, shall we? See what goodies are under here. Can you see? Oops, he says. Not telling me a clue where he's pointing the lens. It's gone all... <laughs> Captain, it's gone all funny. Oh dear. No, I'll do photographs, uh, photographs afterwards. That is the Amazon Dash button, version 2 point... Well, just 2. Tear down. Disassembly. Call it what you like. That's that's getting inside one. I'm now going to inspect the board to see if I've broken any components off. I may have broken some surface mount uh, SMD resistors and capacitors off while prying that plastic back. But anyway, that's the whole thing. The whole kit and caboodle. There you go. That's inside the Amazon Dash button. I hope you enjoyed that. I shan't be doing that, doing that again. That's a nightmare. Anyway, oh, there's a battery trying to run away from me. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. God bless you. Bye-bye. All oh, the white pants has resumed.